right, we're now looking at an air handling unit. In this air handling unit, we want to shut the power off first. Now, that was just after we looked and listened to the whole unit and made sure that nothing sounded bad. Everything, this was shut off at the moment, so everything sounded good. <laughs> so, now we're opening up this, and I want to show you the belt and the bearings and the motor. Uh, basically, we have a grease port. We will be greasing these uh, every, I'd say, uh, six months to a year. One shot of grease. We have a grease port here. And then you come down here to the bearing, and we have a grease port here. A lot of times on these motors, there are two grease ports, one on the front and one on the back. We just have the one here. Look for both of them. There could be also two zerts on the bearing, um, but we just have the one at the moment. All right, now we will talk about belt tension and later on, and uh, I will show you how to uh, make the correct tension on that belt when we go to put new ones on. Uh, so now we're going into the filters. We're going to open this up, and this is a rolled filter unit. Basically, this unit is set on a roll. The filters are set on a roll on the back of the unit, and we pull this through. And uh, I don't know what, how long the how long these last or so, but you know, you pull it through a month later, and you cut it off. You pull it through, cut it off. And uh, these could last up to six months to a year, depending on how much is on this roll. Uh, the filter is located right inside, right here. And well, like I said, you'll pull it from the top and the bottom, and you'll pull the dirty part through, and you'll cut it off, and then the clean will be there. Um, when you run out of that roll, uh, filter, basically you'll have to climb over the top of this, install this unit into the, uh, the gears over there and you'll be able to, you'll have to crawl into this unit and tuck it through so that you can pull off the new filter through. So basically you will put that unit in you will crawl inside this thing and pull all the new stuff through. That will do every 12 months. So basically, uh, you'll do, next month all you'll have to do is just pull this through and you'll have clean filter. When you run out, you'll have to uh, put all the new filter in. And that's when you have to crawl into the unit. Uh, we also have drain drains right here for our coils. Sometimes there's going to be uh, some instance where we have to drain coils. That's all I have for uh, rooftop units at this moment, so um, I think we're done. <laughs>